Cyril, it's hotter than ever today. You don't complain about it. That's what we tired out here to stay for, the sun. Yes, I know, but when it gets this hot, I just don't feel like doing no housework. Well, you don't have to do any housework, do you? You've got your own maid in here doing it for you. Yes, but I never, ever feel she does it thoroughly. I think perhaps I'd better go and see if she is doing it. No, 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 don't do that. These Spanish are very conscientious. They're very proud of their work, mate. <laughs> your own maid, eh? Put your feet up and relax. Yeah, well, perhaps you're right. I mean, after all, we British aren't expected to work out here in Spain. No, they're not work expected to work back home in England, either. <laughs> And it's quiet out here, eh? Peaceful. Hey, snake, drei, vier! Werte, euch das Essen? Ich will es jetzt! Es ist schon zehn Uhr! Wump, six, seven, eight! Oh, silly. I'll never get used to having them as neighbours. I mean, to think we come all the way out here and have to live next door to Germans. Well, you expect to meet foreigners when you come abroad, don't you? He's all right. He's only been out here a couple of days. Give him a poor devil a chance. Well, I'm not going to have nothing to do with them, and don't you say nothing neither. 13, 14, 16. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. It's good here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are from England? Yeah. That's a good idea. It's very clever. You think so? Oh, yes, because England is foot, eh? <laughs> hey, now, look here, mate. I can remember a time when Germany was foot. Sarah! Yes, but no longer. <laughs> but the sun's uh, very hot. I do not like too much the sun. <laughs> no, I remember you Germans in the Western Desert. You didn't like the heat out there either, did you? <laughs> you used to run away from it all the time. All the way back to Germany. Oh, yes. This was very clever. The German army was good at running. Yeah. They had plenty of practice chasing the British all the way back to Dunkirk. Hey, now, look here, mate. Here is the end. You have not met my wife, Bert. Uh, good uh, how do you do? And I am Willy Smith. You are Herr Blake. Yeah. <laughs> this is your wife? Oh, no, no, no. I'm Mr. Blake's sister, Dorothy. Ah, how's the dust, Bert? Ah. So you are Frau Lein Blake. It is an honor to meet you. Thanks ever so. All this heat, your appetite it takes away. Uh, will you to try some German sausage now? No, no, thank you. We've had our breakfast. Yeah, so have we. <laughs> but this is how you say Eine Schnacker. Okay. <laughs> 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 what are you looking for, the Bismarck? Look <laughs> <laughs> oh, out there. On that yacht, there is a young woman sunbathing without her tops. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, no, they see the yacht. <laughs> oh, these binoculars, you see every detail. Oh, she's a well built girl. For all I can see of her, she might as well be a fella. Billy? <laughs> Billy? Uh -huh. At what are you looking? Uh, at, at, at this Spanish fishing boat. <laughs> have you not, my friend? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here, have a look through my glasses at the Spanish boat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fine superstructure. Huh? It's bobbing about a bit. <laughs> I can't see those sort of details with my glasses. Oh, this is German binoculars. You can see every detail. These are German binoculars. <laughs> yes, but they're very old. Yeah, Thirty years. Did you buy them in London? No. I'll capture them on the way to Berlin. <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> those Nazis, they lost us the war, but I was not one of them. Uh, you know, the new German is doing well. <laughs> there are a lot of us buying apartments here in Spain. Soon you will have a lot of German neighbors. Yeah, and I'll take a bet none of them will be Nazis either. <laughs> it is 10 seconds to 10 o'clock. It is time to get the news from Germany on the radio. Oh, no, no, you won't be able to get Germany. No, not from here. We've been trying to get London for weeks. You see, we're too far away. Ah, but you have not got a German radio. I, I will get it for you. Mm -hmm. Three seconds to ten. Three, two, one. This is the BBC World Service. England. Here are the news headlines. Oh. It's wonderful. Listen. Britain faces a crisis as the trade figures were published today. The government revealed that Great Britain is now at the bottom of the European trade table with West Germany at the top. <laughs> In London, following a strike call by drivers, all buses are at a standstill. You can see I'm not there anymore, can't you? <laughs> the pound reached its lowest level ever following the fall in the London stock market. As another devaluation was rumoured, 
It is reported that many foreign banks have stopped trading in sterling. Oh, and many Britishers abroad are having difficulty exchanging the pound. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> England faced another disaster today. Oh, no. Well, what is it now? In the final test match, in reply to the Australians' 409 for three wickets, England was all out for 97. Oh, my God. <laughs> but one piece of good news. Uh, just won the international tiddlywink competition. <laughs> the English football team, who won the semi-final replay against Hungary by one goal, is in good shape for the final tonight in Madrid. Uh, well, that's good. Where they'll meet the unbeaten world champions, West Germany. <laughs> Poor England, he has no chance to win. <laughs> we would if they put Brian Clough in goal. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> well, nothing would get past his head, would it? <laughs> Senor Blay, a terminado. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's our uh, Spanish maid. Yeah. I think she's finished. She comes every morning. <laughs> oh. You have a maid? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, she probably wants to ask me a few questions. Uh, I'll get me five book. Signorita, my wife has finished her work. She would like her money now. Uh, 200 pesetas. Si. Well, it's only Tuesday and we always pay her on a Friday. She says she has finished her work, so she would like her money now. Eh? Oh, good. Typical Spanish mercenary attitude, isn't it, eh? Yes, well, the workers aren't like that in England. No, there they do not do the work and still they take the money. <laughs> I've only got English money till I go to the bank. Look, uh, here's two English pounds, tell her. That's worth more than 200 pesetas. It might not be by the time she gets it to the bank. That's a guess. It's English pound notes for you. Dinero inglés, no vale ni el papel. No good. Oh, 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 oh dear she. Oh, no. She's trampled the Queen's dress. <laughs> Our Queen. See, her picture. That's there because she guarantees this money is good. Good? She looks a little worried. <laughs> when she had that picture taken, her crown was too tight. <laughs> See, it says, I promise to pay one pound and it's signed Bank of England. Bank of England, terror! <laughs> uh, don't you laugh at the Bank of England, mate. They always pay. Safer than Gibraltar, that is. Huh, that is another thing the British never paid for. <laughs> I'll have to change my English money. Here, tell her I'll pay her at the end of the week. Have to pay her the semana. And if it comes a case, it can down the sort of... She said you can keep your dirt until the end of the week. No, She's not working for you anymore. Oh, isn't she? Oh, and she's gone five minutes early. This is All right, all right, don't start. I'll have a go. Now, listen here, Carlos. Your wife can't leave us in the lurch like this. She agreed to come here every day. You go and tell her it's not good enough. I cannot do that, senor. Why not? You're a man, aren't you? Be your husband. Go and tell her. Oh, exactly, senor. If I go to her now, we have the big fight. And then tonight, I have to make the big peace. I already have six children, senor. I cannot afford any more business. <laughs> I think we're going to have to do it ourselves. Cyril, just when we were settling down and I thought I might be able to live in Spain after all, now we've got German neighbours and we've lost our Spanish maid. Okay, all right, okay. Let's come and clear away the breakfast things on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Look a big Bertha over there. <laughs> Hello again, English friends. Knock her in, Bert. I need plenty of protection from the sun. Eh? Oh, God. No wonder there's an oil shortage. <laughs> <laughs> She's putting more oil on his back than we'll ever get out of the North Sea. Well, why do you not leave this to your maid? That is what we do. Fräulein, das Tablet. Si, si, senor. Enseguida. Maria. What's she doing here? She is our new maid. She has promised to come and work here every morning. That is the power of the German mark. I offered her twice what her other employer was giving her. It's good, eh? Well, I think it's a dirty trick. Oh, no. No, no, no. The girl was not happy. She told me she was working for a terrible man. Huh? A very mean old miser. Huh? And the woman she worked for was never satisfied. Always moaning and miserable. A real slave driver. Oh, it's oh. absolutely disgraceful. Oh, she could not work for him anymore. She said he leered at her with mad-looking eyes. <laughs> she feared... She feared he was a sex maniac. <laughs> sex maniac? He said... She, she said he gave her lecherous looks. Sir, you never. Don't talk, blooming girl. Of course I did. Now, look here, old mate. You might as well know it. That's our maid you've got there. And you've used your filthy German money to lure her away from us, haven't you? Your maid? Uh, 
就我，这是朋友去啊！去搞搞这你想要搞你想要？我我这朋友，这边可能把有表面长的这里，我为啥子先去找朋友呢？哎，我为啥子表面毛的？哎哎哎 ，I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my friend, I did not realize that she was talking about you. Listen, listen, I tell you what we will do. We want to be friends. Why don't you and your sister be our guests at dinner tonight? No. I'm afraid we can't. Oh, come along, Fräulein. We cannot always be fighting the war. After all, it was thirty years ago. But of course, you are too young to remember. No, no, I'm not. Well, yes, actually, I was at school. Oh. Kindergarten. Sure, <laughs> so you wasn't still in the maternity ward. <laughs> I think he's right. We should try and be friends. Yes, we would be pleased to accept your invitation. Good. We will prepare for you a special journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your blooming game? Well, I think we should try and be friends. I mean, they are our neighbours. Yeah, it's all right. I'll be friends with them. Yeah. By the time I finish eating his grub tonight, Germany will be bankrupt again. <laughs> 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 Schwein, <laughs> as you say, boiled pig. <laughs> that is the, the pig's ears, the pig's belly, uh, and the sausages are made from the pig's entrails. <laughs> and here is the pig's head. I've seen that place before somewhere. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> What a blowout! <laughs> Are you sure this is the right sort of food for this heat? Oh yeah, yeah. The German food is very good for the Spanish climate. Yeah, but is it any good for the British stomach? Oh, oh God! There is still one pig's foot left. You have it, my friend. No, no, no thanks. No, I've already had three pig's feet and six big dumplings. Oh, oh God! What's wrong? Is your pig's foot upsetting you? I think they're playing football with the dumplings. Oh, that was a foul. <laughs> What about you, Fräulein? No, no, I couldn't thank you. Oh. Then it is time for us to go on to the very special German cake. <laughs> yeah. That one I will have as soon as a pig's foot I have finished. <laughs> Nothing must be wasted. Oh dear, all that salty stuff! It's made me terribly thirsty. I must have a drink of water. Oh no, no! In Spain, you cannot drink the water. Here, have some more wine. <laughs> oh well, if it's safer, <laughs> Lancashire, my hair. Uh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> pig's feet are on the bar together. <laughs> Berta, the Fräulein speaks German. Yes, that is so. <laughs> Their wine is good. Ja, wold, mein Oberleutnant. <laughs> oh. It's wonderful. <laughs> How did you know I was an Oberleutnant with the Wehrmacht? I didn't. And when did you learn German? Oh, every Thursday night at seven thirty. Oh, you went to the night school? No, I stayed in and watched Colditz. <laughs> Colditz? Yeah, it's a program on the British television. That one about the German prisoner of war camp. You know, the one that all our prisoners escaped from. Oh no, no British ever escaped from Colditz. <laughs> <laughs> they did on the BBC. <laughs> well, they might have done, but they didn't get far. We had our methods. Yeah. We stuffed them up with pig's feet and dumplings. <laughs> Before you retired. Oh, I was an inspector. I had a lot of men under me, you know. Oh, you must have been very strict. Yes, yes. I had no monkey business from them, mate. <laughs> yeah. When I gave an order, they jumped to it, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. This will make you laugh. They used to call me Hitler. <laughs> yeah. That is so. Look, Billy. Huh? Does he not look? <laughs> does he not look like Adolf? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Of course, of course, the days are over now. Now we are all very good friends. 
Senor, I have just heard they are showing the football match on the television from Madrid, England against Germany. Oh, I can't miss this. Oh, come along, let us go and see Germany. I am. <laughs> see Germany get a trance, Senor. Oh, we will pulverize the British. Yeah. I would bet on it. I could eh? put the bet on for you, Senor. I have this friend. <laughs> I will bet 1,000 pesetas for Germany to win. Hang up, that. I'll have 1,000 pesetas on this game, I know. Cyril, we can't afford it. I know what I'm doing. But I thought I read somewhere betting isn't allowed in Spain. That's right, Senorita. But do not worry. I take you to the policeman at once. Huh? <laughs> policeman? Cyril, you'll get arrested. No, no, Senorita. The policeman collects the bets and takes it to the bookmaker. The policeman? Well, who's the bookmaker then? The chief of police. <laughs> Come along! Come along, the match is about to start! Ah, the men are like little boys. Come, Fraulein, we will the cakes take with us. Nothing must be wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> Joe's gonna shoot them. Ah, oh, you missed your big twig. Tiny <laughs> Dicky, give it a lovely big kick. Yeah, she's supposed to kick it in the goal, not 50 feet over the top of it. <laughs> but it's on with your German forwards to keep on kicking the ball over the bar. Yeah, it's all that goose stepping, mate. Make some kick too hard. <laughs> look up, look up, he nearly got it in with his head. Yeah. The Germans are very good at heading. Yeah, they ought to be. They've all got square heads, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, he's cleared it. Look. What's the commentator say? Say three minutes left to play, yeah. and still only one goal each. <laughs> he said the Germans are not so tired as the British. Yeah. <laughs> that is because as a nation, the Germans have always kept themselves very fit. It is not so bad. Yeah, we have the self-discipline. <laughs> <laughs> This game's going to go into extra time, you know. Only three minutes left to play. Do not worry, my friend. A lot can happen. For a German, three minutes is a very long time. It is for my villa, certainly. <laughs> I didn't know your husband could play football. <laughs> England are attacking now. Look. Hey, what's happening? The picture's getting smaller. Uh, it is the voltage dropping. Oh, we get that back home in England when the electricity workers go on strike. <laughs> Carlos, have the Spanish workers gone on strike? No, senorita. They went on strike seven years ago. They won't go on strike again yet. Yeah, they must have won marvellous conditions, eh? I don't think so. They're still in prison. <laughs> <laughs> the prison's getting smaller than ever. You can hardly see the players. <laughs> the voltage is Come dropping on. because everybody is cooking their dinner. This is ridiculous. No. <laughs> you must be very happy to know. <laughs> Germany is attacking. I cannot see the players. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is that the ball? Is that the ball there? No, it's where a fly's been on the screen. What's he saying? He said England is hitting back. They are fighting like mad. Ah, I told you, didn't I? This church, this English team's got spirit, mate. Not the team, senor. The supporters are fighting. The game has started again. What's it? The referee has sent off a British player. The goalie keeper. But it's for using his hands. What are you talking about? The goalkeeper's in jail to use his hands. Not to strangle the referee, senor. Oh, my God. What do you want to do that for? Because he gave a penalty against England. Oh, now we shall see Germany victorious. The clock. Only 15 seconds to go. Oh, schnell, schnell. So is jetzt ist Gelegenheit. She's, she's, now that she's in all over the Scream. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to take the penalty up? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, uh, good, good morning, Herr Blake, Fräulein. I have just been down to collect my winnings from the bet. I'm so sorry that England lost. Oh, it's all right, old chap. Somebody's got to lose, isn't it? Oh, guten Morgen. Oh, dear. Why are you doing all the work? Where's your, um... Maid. Uh, she has sent word that she cannot come. You know, these Spanish are so unreliable. Oh, we don't find them that way. <laughs> <laughs> A poor favour, senorita. Breakfast, terminardi. God, him. What is this? It is Ahmed. What is she doing there? Why has she gone back to you? You've been gazumped. <laughs> what is this? What is gazumped? It means that we British always win in the end, old chap. <laughs> Come on in, dear. I think we ought to go and see if she's made the beds and done the washing up and uh, cleared all the place up, boys. <laughs> Don't worry, old chap. After all, you won't miss her. 
You German slap work, don't you? Uh, uh, <laughs> are we the turn? <laughs> oh, God, it's a good one. Oh, grassy old tongue. That's made my day, that ain't nice. Here you are, here you are. It's 100% it for you. Tell her, Carlos, uh, all she has to do is come every morning for us onto the balcony and do that, you see. She Just to upset the Germans. <laughs> There's only one condition. You mustn't go next door and work for them Germans. I've just gesumpt him. <laughs> she is very pleased. Esto es mío. Dámelo, ese dinero es mío. Bueno, rápido, ¿eh? Ah, yeah. What's she going on at you like that for? It is because I have given her the big gesumpel. <laughs> still, I still think it's ridiculous. I mean, you paying her all that money just for five minutes so you could get your own back. I mean, after losing all that money, betting on England to win the football. Don't talk, Duff. You don't think I'll bet on that shower of dopey layer bars, do you? <laughs> I bet on Germany, mate. Look. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't call me either for nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs>